Welcome to another edition of Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Well, today is a pencil review, uh, yet again, and um, so many pencils, so little time, folks, but uh, we're going to get to as many as we can. Today, we are really looking at an American classic pencil. This is the General Pencil Company's uh, Semi-Hex Number 2 Pencil. Uh, again, this is a really classic American pencil. Um, I know we think of the Ticonderoga, which is no longer made in the United States. Here is a pencil uh, still made right here, I believe in New Jersey, and uh, they have been added since 1889 and have been turning out this pencil for much of the 20th century and still now into the 21st century. So, you know, what do we, where do we start and what do we say about it? Well, uh, it is iconic, no doubt about that, as a, pen, as a pencil goes. Um, let's just take a closer look at what the pencil shows us. So, um, here we see it says bonded, referring to the core. USA since 1889. You have that side profile there of a hexagonal pencil, uh, which is a trademark logo here. General's semi-hex, number 498, 2HB soft. And you have a brass colored ferrule here with a stripe going around the center that appears to be, uh, I'm not sure if it's black or a really dark blue or a really dark purple. I really have to get that under a magnifying glass. Um, and the uh, lettering on the pencil itself is in a green foil. So that's how it's on there. So we'll take a look at this. Um, one thing you do notice, like here on the particular uh, where it was painted, um, you know, there's a little a little bleed through there on the wood. Uh, so it perhaps didn't get sprayed quite as much as it should have right there. It's, you know, overall, I mean, it's an okay paint job. Uh, it isn't a flawless paint job, but it's an okay paint job. Uh, here, we take a look at the center uh, of the pencil, and there's the core. And to me, uh, it's fairly centered, maybe a bit off by a couple of degrees. Um, and I can see the glue line there, but uh, we have a pink eraser at the top. But the shape of it, again, we say it's hexagonal, but like uh, many pencils have come to be uh, semi-hex because the corners themselves are softened. They are not sharp corners. They are rounded off, uh, making them a fairly comfortable pencil to hold. Um, when you hold some pencils, particularly I'm thinking of pencils from the Musgrave Pencil Company, their corners tend to be more pronounced and more sharp. This is a very soft cornered pencil and so hence the name semi-hex. Uh, but this is, uh, when I see these pencils, 
uh, it just makes me smile and it really does bring back a lot of memories because I do these are the pencils I remember seeing as a small child uh, in school I mean I, I know there were many others and of course we're talking about a time too where the United States had far more pencil manufacturers uh, than it does now. There's only a, a handful uh, that remain, and one of them being generals. So we're going to take a. Uh, I got. I've got one here on deck that is already sharpened, and we're going to take a closer look at this okay. pencil. Let me say also that this pencil is available in a number one, with a number one core. And I do have <clears throat> some of those, that'll be another review. Uh, but you, these are available in two uh, and one. I'm not sure if, there's, if they come in two and a half or not, but uh, I know the two, the two, number one and number two, it is available for sure. And, It is a smooth fairly soft comfortable pencil To me, this is a quintessential pencil for school and office general use. Starting to wear thin now, the, the point. So point retention is about uh, what you'd expect on a number two pencil. And we'll take a closer look here at the erasability of this pencil. I'm gonna start with the attached eraser. Uh, okay, um, not terrible, um, better than average, not a, you know, a, a total erase job, but in terms of attached erasers, uh, I found that General's pencils, uh, and I think somebody else pointed this out in a comment, uh, on another review that General's pencils have pretty decent erasers. Unlike a lot of other pencil manufacturers where frankly the erasers are not not good at all. And in some cases the erasers make more of a mess than they clean up. Okay, let's try some other block erasers here that I've got. Uh, there's a Mars plastic. You can see it does a better job than the attached eraser. Um, 
So in terms of getting to the erasability of the core, it's pretty good. Pink Pearl. Okay, that did about as well as the attached eraser, I would say. We'll try a Milan. Okay, gummy eraser. Oh, what else do we have? How about a rubber, natural rubber eraser? Okay. And uh, try a Mr. Softy here, or Mini Softy. Okay. Well, I would say that overall, erasing, I'll give it an A minus B plus. Um, with uh, the B grade going to the attached eraser and the pink pearl. But the uh, many of the other erasers did really a, a pretty decent job, I think, of it. Okay, let's do some more writing. I like writing with this pencil. Okay, let's uh, sharpen it up a little bit. We're at that point where we're getting a little bit of a blunt tip there. Sharpens nicely, easily. Okay, well, here's the deal with the semi-hex pencil from Generals. Um, i get my other one here too. 
uh, overall a nice, decent, good, reliable pencil. Fairly smooth, fairly soft, comfortable to hold, decent eraser. Uh, it's, you know, paint job isn't going to set the world on fire. Could be a little better, maybe a couple more coats of yellow paint uh, to get it all. So, um, but in terms of, uh, I think it's still a very nice looking general pencil. I like the ferrule. I like the, the, the stripe with the brass toned ferrule. And it is an iconic American pencil. And to be honest, I love the idea of using a pencil that is still made in the US, still made in the factory that's been churning pencils out for well over a century, and still using this really iconic writing instrument of, um, of, of American pencil manufacturing, the semi-hex. So that's, that's it. I, I like this pencil and um, I'll do a review of the semi-hex number one at a later date and we'll see how that compares to the number two. But you know what, this is a good, honest American pencil. So thank you for spending some time with me for this pencil review. I appreciate it. And you know what, look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog. Thanks.